Family thinks 11-year-old son is brain dead. Four years later, he woke up and one word shocked everyone. In a story that defies the boundaries of belief, the tale of Trenton McKinley, an 11-year-old boy from Mobile, Alabama, unfolds like a gripping drama. Four years ago, Trenton was involved in a horrific accident that left him on the brink of death, leading his family to believe he was brain dead. Yet, against all odds, he would awaken just hours before life support was set to be turned off, shocking everyone with one simple word. Mom? It was a seemingly ordinary day in March 2018 when Trenton and his friends were playing with a dune buggy. The excitement quickly turned into tragedy when the trailer they were riding in flipped over. Trenton suffered severe injuries, including seven skull fractures. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors fought to save his life. Over the course of his treatment, he underwent multiple surgeries and experienced cardiac arrests. His heart stopped four times before being revived. Doctors delivered grim news to Trenton's parents. His brain had been deprived of oxygen for too long, and they warned that he would likely never again regain consciousness. They suggested that the family prepare for the unthinkable, organ donation. His mother, distraught yet hopeful, signed the consent forms while grappling with the reality that her son might never wake up again. As the days passed, Trenton lay unresponsive in the hospital bed. Doctors informed his family that if he suffered another cardiac arrest, they would not attempt to resuscitate again. They urged them to consider organ donation seriously, since five children were waiting for transplants that matched Trenton's organs. On a fateful Sunday morning, just hours before life support was scheduled to be discontinued, something miraculous happened. Trenton began to show signs of life. He moved a hand, and then a leg. His eyes, once lifeless and dull, sparkled with a hint of awareness. The medical staff were astonished as they observed this unexpected turn of events. The moment came when Trenton's mother leaned over him and whispered softly, I love you. In response, Trenton opened his eyes and uttered the word that would forever change their lives. Mom. It was a simple yet profound statement that shattered the family's despair and filled them with hope. Doctors quickly canceled the planned disconnection of life support and began to assess Trenton's condition more closely. Remarkably, he retained all his cognitive abilities. He could talk, walk, and even engage in playful banter shortly after regaining consciousness. His recovery was nothing short of miraculous, a testament to resilience and hope. Trenton's journey didn't end with his awakening. It marked the beginning of an arduous rehabilitation process. He faced challenges in regaining his physical strength and cognitive functions, but approached each hurdle with determination and humor. His family rallied around him, celebrating every small victory along the way. As weeks turned into months, Trenton progressed significantly. He returned home and resumed activities he loved, playing basketball and spending time with friends. His story captivated not only those close to him, but also people across the nation who learned about his miraculous recovery through news outlets and social media. Trenton's story sparked conversations about medical ethics and the complexities surrounding brain death diagnosis. Many began questioning how such critical decisions are made regarding organ donation and life support termination. Experts emphasized the need for caution in declaring brain death, citing cases like Trenton's as reminders that medical assessments can sometimes be flawed. While Trenton's case is extraordinary, it's not entirely unique. Other similar incidents have raised alarms about potential errors in determining brain death or misjudgments during organ procurement processes. These stories highlight the importance of thorough evaluations and second opinions before making life-altering decisions. Today, Trenton is not just a survivor, he's an inspiration. He's become an advocate for awareness about brain injuries and organ donation processes. His family often shares their experience at various events, emphasizing hope and resilience in the face of adversity. Trenton's miraculous awakening serves as a powerful reminder that life can take unexpected turns. 
It challenges our understanding of medical science while urging us to hold on to hope, even in our darkest moments. The saga of Trenton McKinley is more than just a tale of survival. It embodies hope against all odds. His journey from being declared brain dead to awakening just hours before organ donation is a testament to human resilience and the unpredictability of life. As families grapple with difficult decisions regarding health care and organ donation every day, stories like Trenton's encourage them to hold on to hope, because sometimes miracles do happen when we least expect them. In a world filled with uncertainties, Trenton's story reminds us that every moment counts and that love can transcend even the most dire circumstances. Another miracle happens. Rodeo star Spencer Wright's three-year-old son has woken up, days after he was considered brain-dead and unsavable after riding his toy tractor into a river. Levi woke up, Wright's wife, Callie, posted on Facebook shortly after midnight Friday. I'm shook. We don't know much, but the doctor said it was okay for me to get excited about that, and I am. My baby is so tough, she added. He got a little wild, so we had to settle him down again, but my heart. The hopeful update on Levi's condition came less than two days after the Wrights assumed they had lost him, saying they had planned to stop care and hold him close until his last breath on earth. However, they changed plans on the advice of a new doctor who felt strongly that we needed to give him more time, family spokesperson Mindy Sue Clark had said Wednesday. We have time for a miracle, the family said, ahead of the one that apparently just arrived. Levi was initially not expected to survive after he drove his toy tractor into a river in Utah on Tuesday. Levi's heart is beating on its own. He has a will to breathe, but his sweet little brain was without oxygen too long, and there's no coming back from that, an earlier update read. We cuddled him all night and feel strongly that his spirit is no longer with us, the post continued. On Thursday, Callie Wright shared a post thanking the rescuers who pulled the little boy out of the water. To whoever decided to spend close to an hour reviving him and not giving up, I'd hug you if I could, she wrote. The water was up to my chest and I don't know if I could have known what to do if I did find him, the mom added of the frantic scene. Spencer Wright, 33, was ranked 35th in the world in the 2023 by Pro Rodeo. He comes from a long line of famous cowboys, including his father, Pro Rodeo Hall of Famer Bill Wright. 